Hello, I am Dr. Nikhil Patel. We have introduced a series on various OT maneuvers and procedures including operative procedures. On the same line, we are going to produce various videos which can help and guide people. Similarly, we have given special kinds of videos concerning with the regional anesthesia blocks, which are primary blocks just now. We will move to advanced blocks later on. We are employing IABP here in a case of total laparoscopic hysterectomy. This recording helps to guide viewers to have their own radial artery IABP measurements and monitoring, which is very essential in major operative procedures, various orthopedic and surgical, as well as in ICU patients. And this gives us bit-to-bit -bit variation of the blood pressure recordings, which are displayed on the monitor. Keep it in mind several things while performing radial artery cannulation. Always perform a lens test to establish the collateral circulation distal to the radial artery catheterization. Always take care to maintain sterility. At most important it is, otherwise it gives cardiac infections. Block the part of the intracath which avoids inadvertent injection of any of the drugs accidental or unintentional or intentional which may result in complications which are very little to the patient. We are using here Edward Dome and extension tubings. It is preferable to have two three-way stop cocks attached at the dome which helps facilitate the ABG samples to be taken out without the dome being dampened. To the dome, one line comes in from the pint, which is heparinized, and the other line goes to the radial port. We have practically demonstrated and elicited radial artery cannulation and establishing the IABP assembly, zeroing the line and taking the readings for the application of the hypotensive anesthesia, which is very useful in intraoperative period and ultimately we have shown the excavation readings of the monitor. The video itself with the tags self-explanatory doesn't need any commentary.